on a YouTube. Just uh, want to talk quickly today. Um, I'm just headed out. It's Friday morning. Um, just stopped at my first uh, property that I'm going to mow. Um, it's sort of the back end of winter here now. We're just about to head into spring. Um, and things are, are going pretty well. Uh, this week uh, I've got uh, definitely four new clients and I'm meeting with a, a potential fifth this morning uh, after I do this one actually. I'm just going to do a quote, a lawn. Um, but I wanted to touch briefly on uh, scheduling and how how I do it um, and yeah, it's sort of a, I'm in a roundabout way of talking about scheduling but this time of year um, I always leave Fridays open I never never book in any work um, on the on Fridays and I try to even through the busier periods I try to limit the amount of work that I put on a Friday because through the week I always get a phone call or something pops up that I need to do a real estate or ring me and they, they need a clean up done or whatever it might be and that's always what I leave my Fridays for um, so when there's work starting to spew into Fridays this time of year that means that I know things are starting to pick up and uh, people are starting to think about their lawns so the reason I said scheduling was um, I think it's important to always have a period of the week where you may leave it free or especially for the busier guys um, that take on extra work uh, like I do especially this time of year like if you're flat out and you've got everyday fall then obviously you don't need to worry about it but it even comes back to when you do your quoting so um, you know if you're if you've got a business and it's growing and and you're looking for new clients and what you know you you're gonna be do, doing quoting from time to time um, you obviously want to put those quotes, like tell those people you're going to be around to see them or whatever, or check out the property when you're going by or when you're, um, you know, close by in the neighborhood. And it's something that I have to be very careful with, um, as far as travel goes. I, I live, um, I would say on the, like in the northern part of my area. So let's just call it the northern part. And I then travel, sort of, I work in and around where I live, um, sort of five minutes to one side to one town, 10 minutes to one side to the other, to another town. Uh, and then I travel 15 minutes south to one town, 20 minutes to another town, 25 to another town. That's all um, how long it takes me to get to my, to my different locations where I work. Um, now, where I live is where I've started to um, promote my business more and, and advertise a little bit more um, because when I bought the, the when I bought my business uh, two years ago, the majority of it was in that 25 minute area away from me. So um, that that come into the consideration when I when I was looking at the business, um, and then it's sort of it's actually growing more towards me now. Um, and that's not out of me looking extra, you know, doing anything different. Uh, but the only thing I did do differently was uh, um, I've contacted real estates in and around where I live. And that's where the majority of the work I get comes from them. Um, or the new clients, sorry. So they, you know, it's, it's amazing actually how many people who are looking for someone to do their lawn, they go into uh, a real estate um or they're talking to real estate agents and, and they pass on my details. Which is cool. It's great. Um, there's like the, the town that I'm in now, um, I actually do the, t the property manager's property where she lives and I do the owner of the real estate's property as well. So um, that's, and that was actually one of the ones I picked up this week. Um, so that was pretty cool, the owners, owners one. So, um, but I'm very fortunate in that sense. But I think that just comes through working relationships and and being being good. So getting back to my scheduling was, what I tend to do is, I, as I said, is leave Fridays open for 
things that might pop up, you know, quotes, meeting new new clients, um, doing garden cleanups for real estates, and they're the ones where you make a little bit of extra money on, and you know that you can um, you can make a decent profit on. Um, but generally speaking, if you can, if you're probably if you're watching this it's it's pretty straightforward obviously and um you're into your lawn mowing stuff and whatever but you know trying to trying to schedule things to where you're going is important um this time of year um is the only time when i really am a little bit sort of scattered with things like today i'm all over the place um i'm actually traveling to all those towns today so uh but i'll be done by lunchtime um i was just sort of i'm I'm doing that because I'm meeting new clients and, and potentially new customers. So that's why I'm doing it. That's why I'm going out of my way. Um, I, you know, this yesterday morning, I wasn't planning on doing this. Um, I had today off, um, but a couple of things pop up. And so to make it worth my while, I've got the ability to, um, with a lot of my properties, to sort of shuffle it and mix it around so I can actually get out of you know, go and do some work and actually make some money as well as do some quotes and stuff as well at the same time. So I'm not sort of traveling around for, for let's just say no money. Um, you know, I've put a couple of jobs on it, um, you know, do it. So I've got a few less to do next week. Um, and things are starting to, to really go here. Uh, like I said, I've, I've actually picked up, uh, I think 10 in the last 10 new properties in the last three weeks. So that's, and, and before that, like I must have had a two month period there where I didn't really get any that was, um, or I might have picked up one or two, but not many. So that's a, a good sign that things are starting to pick up. Um, advertising's working and, you know, my, my contacts in the, are where they need to be. Um, but yeah, getting back to scheduling, I've sort of, as I said, it's sort of been a, a scattered way of talking about scheduling, but um, I think it's important to, to leave yourself at least half a day, I think, I reckon, to, to have those things that pop up and, um, you know, so that's what I plan to do over the next um, eight months of, of busy period is to leave... Um, leave half a day on Friday, you know, even a full day on Friday, if possible. Um, and I have no doubt that that'll fill up with work on that day, you know, so I still will be working five days a week, but that'll be for jobs that are that come up on Friday or come up through the week that I can schedule in on Friday. And, and I think that's one thing with the real estates. That's one little tip there that with, with real estates, they are often under the uh, under pressure as far as time goes um, and getting things done. Uh, they have things pop up, to, you know, tenants leave, tenants have got to come in, so they've got a, a small window of time to work with. And I think that's why I've developed such a good relationship with uh, real estates is that I am make myself available to them um, and and, and that, that promotes new business and new growth within the business. Um, I think once you've got a customer, it's it's relatively easy to keep them as long as you're obviously doing the right thing by them and doing a good job. Um, but it's it's you know focusing on gaining those new clients if you're in that growth period if your business and you're wanting to grow it um, is you know saying yes to work, saying yes to quoting, um, and 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 fitting it in um, and shuffling things around the way you do it. I, I know that there's probably going to be a few people that might disagree with that. And I, I, it's not that I don't, like, I, I understand exactly where they're coming from, those people that, who disagree with that, but I'm, like, literally this morning, I put my first ad out to, um, to employ someone who's not my wife, Hannah's been, Hannah, my wife has been working with me, um, for, oh, just over, oh, just under 12 months, probably about 10 months now. Um, she does, has been doing two days a week with me. Um, she's in the process of going into something else, um, which is, un, you know, which, it's not unfortunate, but it's unfortunate for me <laughs> because I love her working with me and she's really good. Um, and she, she, you know, she 
is it, she's good for the business. Um, I think it's really good to have a female around. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's hard to work with your wife at times, and I'm sure she finds it hard to work with me because I can be an asshole and I'm picky and whatever it might be. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, we, we, we are, you know, we work well together, um, we do good work together, and we get a lot done. And um, that's, that's all you can ask from um, as, as far as an employee goes. And so I think you can be a little bit, uh, your relationship, your working relationship is probably different with your wife. And I'm actually surprised that we lasted that long, to be honest, um, you know, without actually do, splitting um, our work lives um, mutually as like, as in her going into something different. Um, so that, that's good. In a, um, she's going into doing back into something that she really enjoys and is really passionate about. Um, and then that means I have to find an employee. Um, so that's scary. Um, but hopefully I can find the right person. Hopefully they hang around. Um, I'm, you know, I'm probably a little bit naive on it all, um, but I'm hoping it can work out and I'd, I'd like to find the right type of person. Um, but, you know, with the type of job that it comes and now I can't offer them a full-time job straight away, um, you know, who knows, by the end of summer, maybe I can, we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens, see how many more customers I get. I've got a target number in my mind that, um, as far as clients go. I'm just about to crack the 200. I'm at 198 now, I think. Um, so I feel like you, I can employ someone full time once I get to about 2:30. Um, so I think I think that's reachable this year, uh, or certainly in the next eight months. Um, that's base. That's sort of on trending what what I've done previously. Um, I've added about 80 clients in, um, well, no, 90 clients in about, is that 20 months, 20, 21 months. So, um, yeah, if I can add another another 30, roughly, you know, that's that'll get me to the point where um, I think I can, you know, employ someone full time, which will take a lot of the pressure off me during the winter time and, and mean I can sort of, I can relax a little bit more. Um, cause this winter I've been, you know, I've been really busy. I've been a lot busier than I was last year. Um, and that's got to do with garden, the garden side of things. So anyway, I'm rambling. I've got to go do some work. Um, this has sort of been a roundabout video. Um, but all I'm saying is guys for the, for the guys who are looking for more work and, I think it's it's valuable to actually leave space in your week open um, rather than try and um, as a, as a scheduling sort of starting point um, leave it open for more work to fit in there because if you if you block it all out um, I think it's it's you're going to get used to saying no and as soon as you start saying no to work that's when people start to go well he doesn't you know he's too busy he can't fit you in um, you know if that's the case. You know, you don't want to grow your business, that's fine. Um, but, I'm, you know, most people do like to grow um, and are always trying to turn over their clients and, and increase their profit in clients um, and cut off the dead at the end. So, um, yeah, even, you know, that's a, that's a good little tip there. And that's something that I've been really thinking about a lot since um, I've been uh, talking with um, Martin from uh, Mowing and Growing. Awesome YouTube channel, mate. I'm so, so happy I'm watching it. And, you know, you, you sound like such a good fella. And uh, you're, I've got a mate who reminds me a lot of you. Um, and, you know, I feel like, I feel like we, we have got a bit in common. And obviously this is one, one thing. So, um, yeah, lo loving those videos, mate. Thanks for the shout out this morning I watched. Um, and, yeah. Anyone else who's out there looking for a new YouTube channel who's really good, I would actually. Now I'm going to go out a limb here, boys, and say that um, Martin's uh, Mowing and Growing's channel is as good as Brian from Top Notch, and it's different to the like the freaks. The freaks, he's he got his own style, but Brian and 
Brian and um, or Top Notch and mowing and growing are two very similar styles of channels as far as editing and and the content and whatever it might be. Um, or you know, slight differences obviously, but um, two awesome channels. And uh, you know, I I actually am starting to probably I'm biased because he's living in Australia and you know he's a Kiwi and um, I feel like I can relate more to him. Um, but you know, as far as editing and, and music and all that stuff goes, awesome channel. So mowing and growing, guys. He's located on the central coast of New South Wales, beautiful part of the world. Um, and yeah, can't say enough about the channel, mates. That's I'm really enjoying watching it. All right, guys. Peace.